Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to talk about case knives. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff. We're going to talk about my rediscovery of Stockman's. We're going to talk about uh, beautiful bone covers. We're going to talk about how Trapper fits into all of this and uh, all these other kind of good things. But uh, let's let's start off with the Trapper. You guys know I like trapper knives. And I still like trapper knives. I'm never going to stop liking trapper knives. Uh, this is the one that my wife got me. And this was my first yellow trapper. And I enjoy the heck out of this knife. I, I love it. I absolutely do. I cannot get enough of them. So it kind of makes it kind of tough when you get something and you're like, wow, I, if I can only carry one, what am I carrying today? So that something was when I got this. This is a Case Large Stockman. This is the one in the crimson bone. And oh, how gorgeous is that? I love, love, love how Case does the bone covers. And what really made me want to get one of these was, you know, a couple of the guys that I follow on Instagram and YouTube, uh, namely... Rick Paladin Pratt over on Instagram, uh, Randy from Georgia Adventure, and Wes from Doom Crew Outdoors. Those guys all love 75 Stockman. And I didn't have one. And I finally broke down and got one. When I saw these, I thought, wow, what a great knife. And I love, love, love this big, this great big clip point that it has. But what really rang my bell on here was this big tall sheep's foot blade. I was just like, oh my gosh, that just looks like a user blade all day long. And uh, I really liked it. So I finally pulled the trigger, I got this one. And I gotta tell you, I am so happy. I love the fit, the finish. Uh, there was a little blade rub, which uh, I think I actually did it myself. It wasn't like that at first, but then uh, in opening and closing the blades, I think I, you know, rubbed against one of the blades. And so I introduced the blade rub on here because it was not on here uh, before, but there's a little bit, I forget which side it is of, of the stock. There it is right there. I did that. So, you know, I don't blame case or the pattern or anything. That was, that was from me pressing against the nail nick and then having it, you know, ride against the uh, clip point. Because as you, can see there's not a whole lot of room in there you know so uh to get all three blades in there it, it just it's just something that has to do with whatever i love how the uh die went on these uh, bone covers i could just stare at this knife all day long i mean it's just absolutely beautiful it's just just fantastic so i said well this one's too pretty to take to work so usually i like to take a synthetic cover knife when I uh, am going to go to work, because then I don't have to worry about if I drop it, if I bump it into something, you know, I just don't want to end up with a cracked bone handle. I love the bone handles. Uh, I absolutely do. But then I said, well, let me get a synthetic one. Uh, Father's Day was coming up and my wife graciously uh, got this one for me. And this is the uh, case American Workman series and look at that beautiful old glory shield. I, I love that. And this has carbon steel blades. So that was a that was definitely a, a win for me. So again, you have the same same blade set, uh, but you have this kind of a nice stone wash on the uh blades. You get the still the stellar sheep foot, you know, uh which I still use this blade probably the most out of all three. And then you have the Spey, which is just a great stout little blade. And there you see the CS. Uh, now I'm going to tell you about the fit and finish on this one. When I first got it, I was like, wow, this looks fantastic. I was feeling for transitions going over the back, you know, do I see any really major gapping? I don't see any gapping at all. Uh, was feeling over this way, and all of a sudden I felt a uh, little pink, and that's because when I got this knife, 
that was about how high the uh, blade was sitting up out of that frame. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, it made me sick to my stomach because I have gotten such good luck buying case knives through the, through the mail, buying them online. And I tell people, you know, just, you know, go ahead and do it. And they tell me yeah, I'm getting rotten knives and everything like that. And I, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, this has finally happened to me. I rolled the dice and, you know, RJ got bit, but I was like, well, what do I do? I can send it back or I can try to fix it. And so I decided to try to fix it. So I took a, a file to it and I filed down the kick right here. Now I got to tell you guys, if you decide to do this, like I did, you know, that, of course that would violate any kind of uh, warranty that your knife may have. So that's something you got to think about. The other thing is that you have to remember down in there, you have that pin that's going through there. So you could introduce blade wrap. So I just carefully filed it down until I got it to where it's, you know, just underneath that frame. I mean, if I drag my finger back, I can almost catch that point, but, uh, but it's actually below the bolster, which is all that I wanted. Uh, this one, if you notice how the blade sits, you can see that the uh, sheep's foot is taller than on the uh, American Workman. Now, I think it's pre because I could probably have filed it down to where it matched this. You see how this, you know, snugs down deeper into the frame. But I just wanted to go just enough. I didn't feel like I wanted to go, you know, and match this one and possibly introduce, you know, blade wrap on that main blade. So, like I said, go at your own pace, go at your own risk. Um, definitely use a hand file uh, because I think if you use a power tool, it's way too easy to use a Dremel and take way too much off. Uh, it was basically like I would file it, you know, maybe for, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 strokes, and then I'd close it and see where I was. And that's how you got to do it is just go real slow so you get it to where it is because you don't want the blade wrap, but also you don't need the uh, point of the blade sticking up either. So I just kind of wanted to get that out there that, you know, you can, you can fix these knives. Uh, and it's something that, you know, each person has to decide if they want to do it. Now I got this knife from uh, Smoky Mountain. Would Smoky Mountain have uh, accepted a return? Absolutely they would have. And I could have had this returned. I could have rolled the dice on another one. But I really, I like the knife. I really liked it a lot. And I didn't want to have to, you know, send it back and then buy another one. And then, you know, go through the whole waiting period of, you know, delaying my uh, gratification for another week or so. Because I really wanted to get this thing out on the road and start, you know, carrying it. And I've carried it now for uh, this whole last week. So... Has it replaced the yellow trapper? Nope, it has not. I'm going to alternate. I'll probably carry this one all this week again, but then I think I'm going to go back and, uh, you know, get the trapper back out on the road. Uh, equally great knives, you know, no problems with either one. They, uh, they work as advertised. And, uh, I can tell you that I did take this one to the, uh, strop and it was, uh, it was actually, screaming sharp it's uh it's really amazing when i touch it to uh tape and it like the tape just parts it's uh it's pretty pretty fun that's all i got for this one guys i hope you enjoy it don't be put off on on uh, buying case knives if you uh do get a bad one like i said you know and like other people said just go back to who you bought it from if you want to if it's something like this where a blade is uh, sticking up a little bit and you want to try fixing it yourself, you can just know that, you know, once you start filing on a knife or doing anything like that, then it's, it's pretty much it's yours. You know, so don't, uh, don't try to uh, send back one you've tried to attempt to repair and it didn't work out. That would, that would not be cool. But uh, you know, Hey, it's just, it's life. It's just sometimes things need to be fixed. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of us are repairmen at heart and we just want to uh, 
have something that that works and to tell you the truth since i repaired it if anything it makes me like it more uh if that even makes sense you know because it's like i repaired it i i got it to work i got it to to fix and so i'm i'm happy with that achievement that that makes me feel good and it's like uh when you're you know if you if you try it and it, and it doesn't work then you're like you know darn i i messed it up but when it does work out then you're happy you know so like i said if anything else now this knife already has a story right from the get-go right from when it got there uh you know i got it it needed a little help it got the help it needed now it's a fantastic knife and it's you know ready to go back to work every day so good stuff i hope you guys uh enjoy learning about knives and stories and stuff like that so uh anybody has any questions about filing down a kick uh, let me know in the description i'll be glad to uh you know do what i can what little knowledge i have i'll i will pass on uh if that helps you to get a knife that uh, you have back into service or or one that you got that's supposed to be brand new and ready to go and it's, and it's just not quite there so i make no apologies for for the qc it should have it should have been caught at the factory for sure uh, I would never let one out that the that the tip of a blade is sticking above the frame in the closed position. That's uh, that's not cool. But you know, if humans are involved, mistakes will be made. All we can do is uh, accept your your uh, liability, I guess, and and you know, do better the next time and uh, fix them if you can. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk at you later.